Happy New Year everyone! Ever since the release of the Apple Silicon chip, Apple's MacBooks have gotten so much better. The performance and the efficiency of the Apple Silicon chips are something that is unbeatable to this day. One year later, Apple released this MacBook, which is the 14-inch M1 Pro MacBook Pro. Now, in late 2025, this MacBook is almost 5 years old. But, does it still hold up in 2026? Well, let's find out. The M1 Pro MacBook Pro got so many things right. One of them is the design. It has a modern and sleek design that everyone loves and is still used to this day. With the addition of physical function keys, an SD card slot, a MagSafe port, and a Touch ID sensor. Just like like any other Apple product, everything is designed neatly and the build quality is very good. The Badger keyboard is a great keyboard to type on and I also like how the keyboard area is powder coated to be black and to be the same as the keycaps. The trackpad is big, extremely high quality and the gestures in macOS takes it to the next level. As for the speakers, it is one of the best in the market. Most Windows laptops can't even reach this level of quality when it comes to speakers. As for input and output, just like I mentioned earlier, it brings back the SD card slot and the MagSafe port. Alongside that, it has three USB-C 4.0 ports. One of them supports up to Thunderbolt 4, an HDMI port, and a headphone jack. Another thing that needs mentioning is the Max display. It is an elegant mini LED XDR display with ProMotion, aka 120Hz refresh rate, that gets super bright up to 1600 nits and at a resolution of 1324 by 1900. 64. For those who want to pair this Mac to external monitors, the M1 Pro version, which is the one I have here, can connect up to two external displays with up to 6K resolution at 60Hz. Or if you have a, the M1 Max variant, you can connect up to three external displays with the same resolution and refresh rate as the M1 Pro variant. As for colors, uh, it's an amazing display, so the colors are going to be great. And because it's mini LED, the blacks are going to be true blacks. I think it's also important to look at how this Max performs. I'm gonna start with the benchmarks and go on to real life tests later. This Max specifically has the M1 Pro chip with the 8 core CPU and a 10 core GPU and 16 gigabytes of RAM. Another variant has the M1 Max chip with up to 64 gigabytes of RAM but of course because of that high amount of RAM it can cause a lot more. But honestly the M1 Pro with just 16 gigabytes of RAM is already plenty for a majority of people including me. I've been using this specific Mac with this specific variant since April 2023 and I have done a lot of stuff on it including software development, video editing and some light gaming. In doing so I haven't had any unexpected crashes, slowdowns or performance drops. Here is how it compares to other CPUs. Obviously, most new Apple Silicon chips perform better and absolutely smokes the Intel i9 in older MacBooks, including the M1 Pro. Editing videos in Final Cut is very smooth. Scrolling through the timeline, encoding and rendering at 4K is not a problem at all. For developers, I have built many sample apps in both Xcode with Swift UI and in Android Studio with Flutter and I haven't had any issues in it. Performance is good, but another important factor is is the battery and I'm happy to say that the battery life and efficiency is also absolutely incredible. I was able to do all of the testing on battery power as for personal use I usually start my day at around 10 a.m. with almost full battery and after a long day of coding and running simulators and emulators or video editing it still has enough battery to continue for the rest of the night and the fan really ramps up in all of my editing sessions and my coding sessions the fans don't even spin up when they spin up because of gaming, they are very silent and does not annoy me at all. As for charging, the MacBook comes with a 67 watt adapter that can charge this Mac to 100% uh, very quickly. Overall, the battery life is insane and the charging is also incredibly fast. Finally, the M1 MacBook Pro is selling for about $900 on Amazon if it's new and about $700 on the used market. Of course, if you upgrade to a variant that has higher RAM or the M1 Max 
chip it's gonna cost a lot more but compared to when it was released back in 2021 late 2021 it has gotten significantly cheaper and of course the this mac here is still very accessible to buy finally answering the question does it still hold up in 2026 well it definitely does if your work does not require the performance improvements in the new apple silicon chips the m1 macbook pro is the way to go and since apple has long software support this mac is going to be up dated to the latest versions of mac os even in the coming years all right that is all that i've got for this video and if you enjoyed it make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this youtube channel for more tech videos like this until then take care